predicting the Cornhuskers to rebound versus the Northwestern Wildcats today and a competitive close game because they play an effective good game because they score a high more than 10 points in the first half and they score more than 10 points in the second half so they're not going to need a double digits great comeback in the second half. That's my prediction for Wildcats Cornhuskers, my prediction for the Volunteers, the Georgia Bulldogs versus the Tennessee Volunteers, which is a night game, is that the Tennessee Volunteers play a great full game and defeat the Georgia Bulldogs by one point. So they're able to win the turnover battle, they're able to run the football, able to protect the football, also win time of possession. And from start to finish, they're just able to they play a great full game. Offense, defense, and special teams. All reasons why I'm predicting them to win this game and also show that that uh, off week was highly beneficial, starting with against the Georgia Bulldogs. I, mean, I know it's a long shot, but I'm still predicting with optimism that in a great, exciting, close game, the Volunteers defeat the Bulldogs by one point. I don't care if it's a 6-9 game, if it's a 13, I mean a 12-13 game, a 16-15 game, as long as Volunteers win, whether it's an, a, a beautiful win or an ugly win, as long as they win, I'm going to be really satisfied because, if I recall right, the FBI has the Georgia Bulldogs favored as 90% to win, so they are a Goliath and they're most likely to win. I really fear that this, but even if they don't win, I'm really hoping that this is going to be a watchable game because I don't want to watch another freaking boring night game with one of the teams on the fan besides the point. So I saw that with the Bug Guys Cornhuskers, and I want to see a repeat of that. For a repeat. So I can't wait to watch that game, and I'm excited to see the Cornhuskers rebound and get any winnable game versus the Wild, Northwestern Wildcats. Thank you.